All right. Hey, friends, I hope everybody is having an absolute amazing day. Got something really good that I want to share with you. This is this. The Lord is doing so much right now in, in this day and in this age and just just so excited about all that the Lord is doing. Recently, over the past three days, I've been pressing into God because I, I know that he has something strong. I know that he has something powerful for so many people. Let's backtrack. About three weeks ago, the Lord spoke to me about enter into even a deeper time of, of prayer and fasting because I'm wanting to do some things. Man, you could even go back five, six months before that. The Lord has been prompting me to continually tell people that this is the time to fast and pray and, and, and seek the Lord because he's going to do something. So the Lord's been speaking that to me basically all year and even into the very end of 2018. So over the, the past few days, I've just really been trying to be like John the Beloved, but Jojo the Beloved and got my, my head on Christ's chest, listening to what the heartbeat of the Lord is. And, and yesterday when I woke up, I woke up with this amazing excitement and zeal. I mean, I was just stirred up, which I'm usually always stirred up, but I was really stirred up at, at a high level and just all throughout the day, it just seems like everything started falling into place that I would have an idea on something and all of a sudden, just God would give me the answer on how to steward the idea. Things that I have been praying for, for months, all of a sudden, I got creative wisdom. I got created, and just things started happening. I've been expecting the answers, but the answers started coming. And I don't know if you've ever been in a season like this. You know, they don't happen all the time, but it seems like for months, sometimes even years, you are praying about certain things. And then all of a sudden, God just starts answering them. I've been wearing our administrators out with phone calls and emails and text messages. I've been calling people saying we've got to get ready because things are about to increase and pick up. And I even look back over the past two or three weeks and you can go to our YouTube channel and look at all these different words we've been releasing. They are all coming to pass. Now, here's what happened this morning. As I was waking up, as I was starting to wake up, no, the alarm had not gone off because I've been waking up about an hour and a half before the alarm goes off. So as I was waking up, it's as though I was seeing myself in a vision and I was walking through kind of some old trees and, and the ground was kind of brown, kind of like late fall, early winter look. And you could kind of hear just the, the dead grass and twigs kind of just, you know, beneath my feet. And I was walking towards towards just the end of this. And as I was, I'm going to guess probably about five steps away from the end of this, I felt the Lord say, tell people. Start telling people that they are about to come to the end of the season that they're currently in. And then I took a few more steps and then I felt the Lord say this so strongly. You need to tell people that the next step that they take will be the end of this season. So then I became fully awakened. I was, this is my first thought. This is the coming to an end season season. You got me? For so many people, this season of your life is about to come to an end. My wife and I, over the past three weeks, have been pressing into God. And these are the things we're declaring. I'm going to be vulnerable. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to tell you the things my wife and I have been praying. We say, Lord, we have went over all of our old prophecies. We have made all of these declarations. We've made all of these decrees. God, 2018, we sowed more seed in 2018 than ever before. This year, we are sowing till it's uncomfortable. We have fasted. We have prayed. Lord, when is this season going to come to an end? And this morning, that's what the Lord spoke to me, to tell people that this season of your life is going to come to an end. You are about to come out of this season. And at the end of the vision, as I was waking up, 
I was about to step out of that season and then I looked out and it was a beautiful field and you could see the trees were no longer brown, but on the sides of them, they, 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 were, they were green and you could see some of them were fruit trees and it was a lush field. And I, I knew right there by the spirit of the Lord that I was about to step into a new season. And like I said, over the past few days, I've probably had more revelation from God on how to steward prophetic words in the past two days as I have the past two months. It's just starting to flow, and I am beyond just comprehension of what God is doing. Two weeks ago in pre-service prayer before church, God, I was just walking around praying in pre-service prayer. And then it was just like God dropped something in my spirit that I have been praying for for over two years. And then the Lord keeps reminding me, he said, I can do this at any time. I can do this at any point. When the right time happens, the, the kairos, the chronos time come together, I can drop wisdom and knowledge and understanding and insight on so many people. Now, Philippians 3.14, a lot of times we don't understand this. It says, I press towards the mark of the high calling in Jesus Christ. Think about the gym. Think about bench press. People want to know how much can you press. That is when you are giving it everything you got to press. This is a season that you are coming out of that you have been pressing with everything that you have to get to the mark, to get to the go. I remember there was a certain weight that I wanted to bench press and I, it took everything that I had to finally get that. And when I finally got it, I accomplished a go. I hit the mark. It is like that in the spirit. Some of you have been pushing. Some of you have been pressing. You are tired. But let me tell you what, you had spotters on your side. The spotters were your intercessors. You have been pushing. You have been pressing towards the mark of what God has for you. And I'm telling you, there is about to be a manifestation of God's promises. The things that you have declared, the things that you have decreed, I'm telling you, friends, they are going to come to pass. I'm talking about physical things that God has been speaking to. He was going to heal you from are coming in this next season. Financial things are about to break. Marriages are going to be restored. Prodigal sons and daughters are coming back to the house of the Lord. Things are about to happen in this season. But I'm telling you, when it said your next step, a lot of times you might just think that means your next physical step. A lot of times your next step could be, you know, the Lord may be speaking to you about going back to college, learning a trade, moving churches, starting a business, whatever it may be. That next step, listen, the enemy has fought you. The enemy has pressed against you. That's why the Bible says that we do not do um, hand to hand in the Passion Translation, it says hand to hand combat with flesh and blood, but against the enemy because we are pressing towards what God has, but the enemy is pressing us back. That's why you have got to understand the scripture when it says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, which this is what this means. Okay. This is what it means that I can out press by the spirit of God, the devil, as he presses against me. No matter what the enemy presses against me, the kingdom manifesting through my life is going to be stronger. The prophetic word for you today is you are coming out of your current season. And then this was the thing I felt so strong in my spirit. It was as if the Lord was saying, this is a coming out season, season, which means Many people, numerous people are going to be coming out of this season together. It's just not a coming out season for you. It's a coming out season for so many people. And that is exciting because I know and believe that what is coming to the body of Christ is going to be powerful. Now, this week in corporate prayer meeting, I, I, I was sitting down, I was journaling, and, and I, I wrote down a bunch of thoughts, but then all of a sudden, I just stood up, and I started walking around in prayer, and I became so excited. The Lord was speaking to me, and I feel this is going to be strong for July, but there is a fresh outpouring of God's Spirit coming 
in the later summer months. And also, there's going to be personal encounters with the Lord. So I'm telling you, make daily time for prayer. Make daily time to spend alone with God in the reading of the Word. I feel so strong in my spirit that in the latter parts of the summer, many people are going to have encounters, personal encounters with God. You may go on a walk. You may be on a prayer retreat. You may be just wherever you like to pray and get along with God. Get ready because you are about to encounter God in a powerful way. It's as if the Holy Spirit is drawing people to himself more than ever. I hope this word is resonating in your spirit. I hope this word is confirmation to you today. If this word is helping you, whatever social media platform you're watching it on, please go ahead and share this so people can finish the broadcast or get the replay or watch it on YouTube. This word is powerful. This is a fresh word that God gave me this morning. It actually was me coming out of, of like a vision as I was waking up. And a few times in my life, I've had a, an encounter this strong. That's why I'm so excited about it. It's like before I'm waking up, I see myself in this vision. And right when I am waking up, the Lord finishes the vision by speaking something so powerfully and so strong in my spirit that it changes everything. My friends, let me tell you, I am shaken to my core. And if you are tired, if you are weary, and you are getting ready to give up, you do not have the option, nor do you have the right to give up or get weary and tired right now. There is a fresh outpouring of Holy Spirit coming. The next move that you make towards the things of God, He is about to manifest His glory. Now, some of you may say, why have I been in a hard season? How, why have I been in a season that has been a little frustrating? Because, you know, whenever you're working out and you're under a heavy weight, you, you are building muscles because you have to be ready for the weight of God's glory. People always say, oh, I want revival. God, I want awakening. Lord, I want your glory. You got to understand this. You have to be able to carry the weight and the power and the glory of God. Because what God is about to bring to us, my friends, all over the world and in America is going to be powerful and it's going to be strong. I hope this word is confirmation to you. I hope this word blessed you. Get ready because God is doing everything he said he was going to do. And also, go back over your old prophetic words. Maybe you read an old prophetic word and, and maybe the fire of God will come upon you and, and, and it will remind you of how much zeal and excitement you had when you got that word. And understand when God gives you a prophetic word, there is a process you must go through before you can carry the weight of that prophetic word. That's why there's a process and a waiting period sometimes before you get the full manifestation of the word. I hope this video helped you today. I'm encouraged. I hope you're encouraged and go for the things of God. God bless you. Hey, if you want any more information about anything that my wife and I do, go to jojodawson.net. You can find everything. Also, our YouTube channel. We are releasing a lot of new videos, and over the next probably two weeks, we are going to release a lot of timely, powerful, prophetic words that God has given us for the summer. God bless and go for everything that God has put in your heart.